Welcome back to What's Next Garage. Today we have to figure out why that spot is there. That white spot gets really, really hot and it smells like burning wire when we're running the dishwasher. All right, let's get this apart. Ooh, 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 that's not good. Oh my, look at that. So I really did smell yeah. something. So you can see, see how that's all burned up there? Yeah, I see that all burned up. I wonder up. why that's like that. See how hot the wires got? Ooh, wow. Okay, what is causing that? I don't even know what the wires are for. So I pulled the circuit board out. And looking at this, looking it up, that's the wash door and the neutral, and then that's the heater and the neutral. So that wash door neutral burned up. And then you can see here where it's got another door, probably for the soap dispenser. It also started to discolor. So I think with the way this plug looks, the way these wires look, and uh, the way this one was getting hot, I think we're going to button this one up, pull it out, and buy a new one. So this is what's next garage home edition. Not gonna fix it, prefer a new one. Our new ultrasonic turbine washer <laughs> to replace our broken dishwasher. Well, it's marketed for doing laundry. Oh, this thing will actually wash your clothes. In a little bucket. I think it shuts off after a half an hour and then I come in and I wash my dishes. I don't know what that mode is. It's the bubble blow mode. <laughs> yeah, it's a little air pump that's pumping air. That thing's pumping air into there. Fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's take this dishwasher out of here. This dishwasher is dead. Oh, oh that's the seal. Ah, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. This is going to be terrible. Well, we're going to see if that's it. Let me see. Yeah, that's gotta be it. It feels tight. Well, that closed, but I think we need to get a different valve. Under the sink, and now we have to get this out of here. And we have to go for that little faucet there, and then this drain here. We need to do these screws here. All right, the new dishwasher should be here tomorrow, and then we'll do the install. What you are about to see is an under sink cabinet that will be repaired during the next remodel of our kitchen. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's go.
like that stud. Ow. Then I can also take this garbage disposal one and stick him up there, even though we don't have a garbage disposal, because we have a conventional septic. Oh, that's him. That's it. Oh, my God. Took a little bit of work to pop that out of there. I stayed at a Holiday Inn last night, so I'm gonna be a good electrician today. My sister's ex-husband can't get no loving. Walks around dog face and hurt. Yeah, cause I'll put this one up here and the top. This one will go right here. Like that. And then this one will go right here. And it'll get hit from this hole. Are they both GFCIs? Uh, no. Oh, then we wouldn't use that one. Well, yeah. It? And this guy is just going to go in as our place filler. Oh. How's that going to work? That's not. Oh. That box is in. That's not going to work there just to keep it safe until I get the right color. So I'm just gonna, instead of running it this way, I'm just gonna put it like that. Just like that, all right, I suppose. And this is all just temporary until we get rolling here. Until we get the right cover and right everything else and it will be okay. There we go, good. Okay. That's that. That's that. See, I hope I didn't make this too tight. That's all I need. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Right here, I'm installing a plastic vapor barrier that they send along with the dishwasher. When you just have laminate countertops, the potential is there for the wood to absorb the moisture. What if you put, I mean, that's I could put some screws. Here, I could put screws say, in yeah, there. Maybe some kind of washer. I'll run screw. out. I'll run out to the shed and get some small screws. Geez, that blends right in with the So you're just trying, is that a good height even? That even seems like a good height. Yeah, I think it's old. Once we had the dishwasher level and where we wanted it, I'm now going through and anchoring the dishwasher to the cabinetry. There's four holes that sit in front of the dishwasher seal that you screw through into your cabinets. It works pretty good. and then they give you rubber plugs to plug those holes. Then it, it hits that piece. So was our dishwasher higher? No, no, no. 
they, they have in here to cut it, right? They have this in here to cut this. Okay, so that's gonna be how that goes now. We're gonna have it at the bottom, right on the floor, just like that, so. Bring me up, can you grab me a Sharpie? All right, so we got that connected. We've got the water on. There was a little leak there when I tightened the packing. Then I've got this tight. And uh, now I'm gonna just go turn the power on. It's about water. Hey, someone. Isn't there like a kit or something you can buy? I just tried Googling this. No, I'm you asking Google. you, you know everything. No, no I don't. Okay, so it's got program. That must be a timer. This also has... This also has its own water softener. So you put salt in there and you're always guaranteed soft water. All right, we got the Miele dishwasher installed. My wife's just going over the directions now to figure out one, how to set the program, two, how to wash, three, how to check the hardness of our water because this does have a built-in water softener. This doesn't have a grinder. Most dishwasher companies, manufacturers are getting away from the grinder option anyway. But otherwise, that's gonna do it for the meal of dishwasher installation. Everything went pretty good. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.